So these are my units and as you can see they're just the nice white normal units they've got the black handles on which I obviously painted myself and you can see it's a little bit scratched probably needs a touch up of paint on these um, still got my hook where I hang my um, tea cloth on here and um, this was an old one which I'll just scrape off um, but yeah so what we need to do is we need to be taking the doors off so we just need to unscrew all this and then we need to be labelling the inside. So if we put a label here and then a label, um, so if I call this number one and then we'll have number one there so we know when we put them back where they go. And then we're going to be needing, the first step would be to sand the door and then we will paint. First of all, before painting, clean so we can take all the dust off, make sure it's completely dry and then we can go with the boat of paint on top which I have purchased the pebble pebble grey and I'll just show you that now okay so I'm going to be using the shabby chic chalk based furniture paint um, I like this paint I have used it before I also have the wax as well which I won't show you now but I'll show you when I'm, I'll be waxing um, the cupboard doors um, but yes yeah, so I'll be using this and this is in the pebble grey um, never had cupboards and done painted them before and especially this dark I'm just willing to go for the challenge and see the finishing touch if you're gonna do it I say just do it so let's take the doors off first and I have also um, some sticky labels ready to stick on and um, with my black pen so I can just mark the doors which where which goes where and then I've got my nice little handy screwdriver to unscrew all of the screws. So we're just going to do that procedure now. Okay, so I'm just going to stick my labels on the door. So I'm just going to be putting my labels in here. That will be door number one. And then putting the label on the drawer couple and we'll just put that up there so there we go so that's door number one we're going to be doing and then we're just going to be unscrewing that so I'm just going to take it from here and make sure you keep all your screws you don't want to lose those okay so that's that and then and also do not forget to take off your door handle so I'm going to unscrew that as well and I'll probably repaint those and show you how I do those as well so I'm going to just take that off very slowly because the door is literally off at the moment so there we go there's off with the door handles as well so then we will just take the door off There we go. I'm going to get that ready now for sanding. That's what I'm going to be doing with that. It's going to be prepping up now for sanding. So as you can see, I've just put the um, kitchen unit on top of a little stand here and I'm going to be taking my sandpaper and I'm just going to lightly um, sand the top surface just so that the paint that I'm using is going to definitely um, latch on to this cupboard here okay so that's what I'm going to be doing so this is just the prep prepping now for paint work so we're going to just lightly sand the unit And you have to go like where the grain of wood, so you follow the, the um, where the wood grain is going, the direction, so.
We're just going to use a damp cloth and we're going to wipe it clean, all that dust away. And then just with a dry cloth, we're just going to dry that. So then I'm going to use my roller. So I'm going to be using this um, to go on the with the paint. And we're going to start with the first coat. So let's do that now. Okay, so we're going to take the first coat and paint. I mean, this is life and we're going to just do it nice and light. As you can see I've got all my doors on the floor so all numbered at the back that one I've just done and that one yet to do okay so now I'm doing the second coat as that's dried and you'll notice that it will get a bit thicker and it will also give it more coverage on the second coat I'm intending to go for three coats um, and we're just going to see how I feel when I've done three coats. If I've got the full coverage that I need on coat number three, then I will just leave it there. But like I say, not too much, just a little bit on the roller, thin layers, let it dry, trust it, and come back for another coat. It doesn't matter as long as if there's gaps or patches because you can do as many coats as you like but it's better to get that nice even um, you know nice even paintwork on there not clumpy so better to keep the coats light and just go on as many coats as you like so you get that full coverage so that's coat number two Of the bottom um, doors done now from the cupboards I'm now attempting to do the top doors and again like the same as the bottom we will be labeling the outer door and also the inside of the cupboards to match them up so with all of the doors now taken out um, excuse all the inside of my messy cupboards. We will begin to start the prep work of sanding and painting. So, as you can see, I'm starting to paint the drawers that you can, cannot take out so I'm just doing those on the units as they stand so it is a lot of work but you know persevering these are the doors um, which I will be putting back and all the sides have been painted so here is the look the doors are on 
Um, you know, this is the finishing. I mean, the paintwork is great. I haven't got a problem with that. Um, it's a little bit dark for my liking. Um, this wasn't the initial look that I was looking for. I was, exp you know, I needed something a little bit lighter. Um, I still have to paint that little bit of white in the middle there, but I'm not too sure. I think I might repaint this and do it a little lighter because this wasn't the look that I was going for. Although it, you know, it does look good. It's not for me. It feels a bit darker once you're in it. So I'm thinking I'm going to go for a winter grey, which is a little bit lighter than this grey. And I think that would be the better option for me. So let's get on with that now. Okay, so this is, I'm still going with the Shabby Chic um, furniture paint, but this one is the definite grey that I was looking for. It is the winter grey. So I'm going to be using my roller. I have my dove, my winter grey, sorry, paint in here, and I'm just going to go over the units. So they've already been sanded um, previously, and just so this is just really just like a coat of paint on top. So. You see the difference in colour already. Again, we're going to be repeating the process so all of my doors have been removed and I'm having to just go over repaint um, this is what happens but you know it's all trial and error it's always best to go with the cupboard units that you so desired so you know if it, you feel something's too dark then you know just change it don't worry about it it's all in you know practice so after I'm going to be painting, I'm definitely going to be protecting that paint with my wax. And this is the furniture finishing wax here. I'm going to get my wax brush and we will be waxing those cupboard doors. And that is to protect the paintwork. So here is my wax on the wax brush and we're just going to be ready to give it those circular motions and waxing those cupboards, doors, units. So let's crack on. I'm tackling the side of the units now and making those and you can see the color change there. look how dark that was initially so now we're down to the winter gray
I want to show you these wonderful, wonderful brushes, especially for those little touch up areas. I got these three from Amazon and they're just nice decoration brushes. Um, actually, I lie. I actually got these from Aldi and they're only $2.99. And, you know, I was surprised to see decorative styled brushes in there. So, yes, I am going to be using these. I think they're just perfect for those touch-up areas and um, great um, brushes there. So, that's what I'm going to use for my touch-ups. So, if you look closely, as I'm showing you here, you can see, see the white there? See the little bits of white there going on? Those little tricky areas, the small areas that I just cannot get into. These small brushes are handy, as you can see, for getting into those areas and doing my touch-ups. And that's what you're seeing here right now. That's so satisfying to see the touch-ups being done. Here is the handles and I had painted those black and they're very old and scratched up now. So I've got this metallic um, rose gold paint spray um, from Amazon and I'm going to be spraying those door handles from black to rose gold and I'm sure they're going to look great against the winter grey. I want you to see what the cupboard units are looking like with the winter grey paint and this is what it looks like obviously with minus the handles because they are drying at the moment um, can you visualize how this is going to look with the rose gold handles on um, yes I think it's going to have an impact They are dry and we are ready to fix on the door handles, these rose gold door handles onto the winter grey units. There you go. Here they are. And that's the first one. But look at this. Look at the results. They look perfect. This is the kind of look that I was going for. And I'm really happy now that I decided to do the handles as well. So I do hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope that you're enjoying that winter grey against the rose gold um, more than I do. Um, I don't know whether you like the old version. Let me know anyway in your comments. So if you're new here, then a very big welcome. Please do not forget to subscribe for more fabulous ideas and give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. See you soon.